happy, happy, happy day. Oh, it is a happy day. You know what? Want to know why it's a happy day? I'm man. I'm glad you asked. That made me feel better about myself. Reason why it's a happy day is because you make it a happy day. That's why. We all face our problems. We all face troubles. We all face trials. But you yourself, you make it a happy day. So, happy day, people. Come on. How are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Listen, I know I've been off of uh, social media for a little bit. And I'm going to let y'all know why. But, of course, it hurts me because if I want to do a YouTube video, um, it's one of the places where I post the most. So, but anyway, I started um, I started opening back up my, um, my food page, uh, which was Perkins Picks. It's on um, it's on Facebook, Perkins Picks. Um, I think it's P I P I C K S Picks Picks. Okay, it's Perkins something. Google it. I'm sure you can find it. <laughs> I really do gotta get the name of it. Um, when this video comes out, I will be posting um, the. Um, the link for it in the description box so y'all can go ahead and uh, check it out. Um, anyway, in the meantime, I want to tell y'all something, right? Um, I've been back on the whole fitness journey stuff. And let me tell y'all, it is the hardest stuff that I had to do, right? It's the hardest thing, right? reason why it's the hardest thing is because quitting have become, has, be, has become, had become. Has become, had become, has become, had become. Anyway, quitting has been one of the easiest things ever in my life, right? So, whenever something will get hard, it'll be it'll be just easy to quit, right? It'll be easy to give up, easy to throw in the towel and stuff like that. That's just what it is, right? One second. Mm. Cheese and crackers, so good. Go. Quitting has been a, been a, an easy thing to do, right? Just because it's normal, right? Uh, something becomes difficult, you quit. Try something else, right? Um, that becomes hard and difficult, you quit. You try something else, right? It's a cycle of life. Um, but now comes a time where it's like um, uh, fitness has to become number one in my life. Fitness has to be number one in my life. Reason why? Because people keep on telling me I look I look like I'm wobbling when I walk. I don't like to hear that I'm looking like I'm wobbling like I when I walk. That's just so ugh. you know and then sometimes you just see yourself naked and you're just like, whoa, this is why I look like naked? Oh no 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 no. This can't happen. And of course it's just always better in my life for me, right? Because because whenever you want to do something, you don't want to do it for other people. You don't want to do it because this person says it. You don't want to do it because that person says it. You want to do it because it's you doing it, right? So that's where I am at the point in my life right now, where I want to do it for me. I want to get healthy for me. I want to um, make sure that it is right for me. And so I've been on a little challenge with one of my friends, um, um, even though um, I'm... Anyway, I'm not going to speak on that one. Um, it's losing 15 pounds. Um, stay on Facebook until you lose 15 pounds, right? And, of course, one second. <clears throat> of course, for me, that's always the hardest thing. reason why it's the hardest thing, right? Because you got to be disciplined. You got to be diligent. You got to be able to wake up in the morning time, go to the gym, exercise, work out. Um, you got to be disciplined just to have that sort of momentum just to um, work out, just to just to say, you know what, I'm going to be dedicated to do this. This is that's why it's the hardest, right? Because you got to be dedicated. You got to be motivated. You got to be you got to be everything when you work out. Right. And, it, and it's, it's going to kill you. It's going to hurt. It's going to uh, put you in a place where you're just like, oh, my God, this hurts. This kills me. Do I really want to keep on doing this? Yes, you do. Because you want to know why? Because you want to look good. I know sometimes it's over now, but we're going we're gonna to work on next summer, all right? We're going to strive for next summer. We're going we're gonna to make summer, next summer, our goal. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, moving on, right? So, 
um, my main topic for my main um purpose for this video is, is this, right? So I told you about the fitness journey, right? That I was going through with my with my friend, right? Anyway, 2020, right? 2020 has been a year that was like WTF, WTH, uh, FML type of type of uh, year. It's been a year that was just like, what is going on? But for me, it's always it's also been a year that's been good. It's been a year that I think. God, it happened. I thank God that 2020 happened. That's where I'm at. But in 2020, we've learned um, a slogan, right? We learned a catchphrase um, that has been ringing into 2000. What year are we in? 2021. Oh my gosh, I lost the track. One second. Mm. Sorry about that. So, 2021, right? Well, the phrase in 2020 was that we are all in this together. My God, does that sound good, right? Because when you ever when you're struggling with something, right? When you're going through a problem, you want to know that. Oh. You want to know that you know that you know that. That there's somebody with you fighting. That there's somebody going to war with you. That there is somebody that's going to be able to stand with you and say, you know what? You and I. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that you and I are in this together. You and I are fighting the same battle. You and I are, are doing our thing together. It is you and I. We are fighting together. We are, we are going to war with with whatever this is right you want to know that 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 you you want you want to have that reassurance that it's not just you right but we're not in this together are we we're not fighting the same battle are we we're not we're not in on the same battle lines are we no we're not We've may be able we may have entered the same war zone, but we're not fighting the same battle. We're not fighting that same war. We're not. And the reason why I tell you this is that there are there have been people who have died. And for me, I'm not fighting that same war with them. They have pe them and they they're not fighting the same war with me. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry about that. So, like I said, we're not all in this together, are we? We're not. Because we're all fighting a different battle. Um, we're all fighting a different war. Even though we are in the same war, we're, we're, we're fighting a different one, right? As Christians, right? As Christians. Um, it's always good to to have. It's always good to have that accountability partner, right? It's always good to have that accountability person that says, "Hey, man, you need me? Call me. Any problems? Night and day, call me." Right? It's always good to have that, right? But it's always good to have someone also checking up on you, calling you, make sure you are right, make sure you on on the. The, 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 the good and narrow path. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of times, it doesn't happen always like that, right? And a lot of times you feel alone. A lot of times you feel like you're in this by yourself. A lot of times you feel like that you got to do it by yourself. And guess what? That's true. Because you got yourself into the mess, you got yourself into the 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 quicksand. You got yourself into the position that you are in right now. So guess what? You're going to have to find a way just to get out of it. You're going to have to find a way just to get get your get get the get the 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 
Just get, getting out of it. Get the healing that you need. Get, getting out of where you are. You're going to have to find your own way until you can find somebody that will lock arms with you and say, you know what? Yes, buddy, we are in this together. Let's go on ahead. You understand what I'm saying? God is the one that will be able to get you through all that. So, yes, you got to talk to God every once in a while. You got to let God know, like, what's up? Like, oh, yo, I'm struggling right now. I need you right now, you know? That's the only person that I can say that you are in this together with. It's not anybody else. It's just you and God right now. You may not always talk to God like that. But there's going to be a time where you're going to say, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know where you at right now. But I need you right now. Because this is something that is... A little too much for me, you know what I'm saying? This is a little too much, a little too crazy, you know? I'm going to need your help on this one, you know? We're in this together. No, we're not. We may be in the same pandemical war. We may be on the same war path. But we all fighting something different. Always. Are fighting something different. My point is that. Even though we may. Be fighting. The same war. But you yourself. Have to find a way. To. Better yourself. Get your healing that you need. And be the best person. That you can be for yourself. Be the best person that you can be.